Welcome back to a very special edition of the Preps Preview. It's state semifinal time, which means we've got a two-man panel to break down the games this week. We've got two exciting matchups, so we're going to start with Bishop Gorman versus Arborview. Justin, what are you expecting from this matchup? Well, Bishop Gorman's looking to go to their eighth straight state championship, and they've pretty much owned the Sunset region for the better part of a decade. This will be the third year in a row that Arborview and Bishop Gorman square off for the Sunset region championship, which the Gales have taken the last three times. Uh, they do they dominated Faith Lutheran mm -hmm. last week, and they dominated they pretty much dominated everybody so far this season. That just seems to be what Bishop Gorman does. I'm really excited to see Tate Martell in this matchup. The quarterback for Bishop Gorman has over 3,500 total yards in the year, 52 touchdowns. It's nearly four a game during their 13-0 start to the season. It's ridiculous, and it's going to be really interesting to watch Bishop Gorman seemingly try to roll into the state title game again. Biagio Wal Ollie Walsh is back and healthy, and. They haven't really needed him all year, but they're going to have him on Saturday, just like he scored three touchdowns last week. So we'll be looking for this one, and that game is Saturday at 1 p.m. at Bishop Corman. Moving on to the other state semifinal matchup of the week, Liberty will take on DeMonte Ranch for the right to play the winner of Bishop Gorman Arb Review. Now, Justin, what do you expect from this game? Well, in this one, we've got DeMonte Ranch, who won its first ever Northern Region title last week by knocking off Reed, a team that had won the previous five Northern Region championships. In Liberty, we have the Sunrise Region champion for the seventh year in a row. So the winner will take on Bishop Gorman Arborview winner, and if it's Liberty who knocks off DeMonte Ranch and Bishop Gorman who knocks off Arborview, we'll have a rematch of the 2015 state title game where the Gales beat the Patriots. Personally, I'm very excited to see the quarterback matchup in this game. Quarterback Cade McNamara for the Mustangs passed for over 300 yards in their 49-45 victory over Reed last week. While meanwhile, Liberty quarterback Kenyon Oblad has been getting it done all year with 35 passing touchdowns on the season. Should be a good one, and this game will be Saturday at 1.15 p.m. at McQueen High School in Rio. Well, that'll do it for our two matchups of the week. We want to thank you all for tuning in to another edition of the Preps Preview. Make sure to check back to NevadaPreps.com for all scores, highlights, and analysis. And on behalf of our two-man panel, we want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving week.